Hey everybody, Michael here, back for Fleet Tech. Today we have a review of the DJI Phantom 4, and stick around at the end of the video for a full compilation shot of Liberty University from the air. Hey everybody, Michael here, and I just want to talk to you for a second today about drones and how I use them in my own life, my own personal business, and here as a college student. Using the Phantom 4 for my business has been great in that it gives me the opportunity to give a unique perspective um, for clients, whether that be a wedding couple or other commercial clients. It gives a nice perspective from the air that isn't usually possible um, with just traditional cameras, and it really enables me as a college student to set myself apart from other creative videographers in the industry. It's super easy for anyone to have access to a DJI product, whether that be the Spark, the Mavic, um, the Phantom 4 Pro, the Inspire. People have very easily and readily access to drones, but the thing that's rare in today's society, especially as a college student, is people that can operate drones well. And even in the field that I'm in right now, even in college, there's not many students that I know that have drones. So being able to have this drone and being able to go out and shoot with it either on campus or for different people is something that's really great for enabling me to set myself apart from other creatives in the industry. I got this particular drone about a year ago from a friend on a great deal who he actually upgraded to get the Mavic and he had this old drone that he was getting rid of, so I got the Phantom 4 drone with the three uh, extra batteries for a grand total of around $400 to $500. So again, this really isn't something that I went out and I spent $1,000 on a drone on. It was something that, for me, it was a great budget way for me to be able to have access to a really nice flying 4K camera drone and enables me to get some awesome, awesome shots with it on a budget. So in about the year of me having the drone, I've been able to do some pretty incredible things with it. I've done a paddleboarding company uh, video where I flew the drone out on the water around some paddleboarders, went out on a boat, flew the drone off the boat. I also, in contrast, did that for a marina company for their boating and their fishing festival that they had. Um, I also was able to, you know, do weddings and have, you know, the drone at weddings and just capture some amazing visuals with that as well. Um, and I also worked for some uh, multinational corporations doing some drone video for them and their products and services that they were offering. Uh, they really wanted a drone in the sense that it could give them a new perspective on some of the projects that they were working on. I've also had the chance to fly the drone around here on campus at Liberty University. Um, back over the summer, John and I actually went out and just took a day out here. We just flew the drone, got some awesome footage of campus. There wasn't a ton of people around, not a lot of people to run into. Nobody really asked any questions. So we were just able to go fly the drone around campus, get some amazing, amazing footage. And we even went back a couple days ago at night to get some more footage of what the campus looks like at night and just get some really awesome and unique perspectives. And as a college student, that's really awesome in this fact that not many people on campus have drones and can pilot them well. So it looks really good to the university. And last summer, we made a like, compilation cut and kind of sent it to Liberty and said, hey, like, come take a look at like, this footage. And the video itself did really well. And Liberty even promoted it and it has over four to 5,000 views on their on my tweet, which they retweeted, and it's just, it kind of blew up. It was really cool to see that. Drones are a great way to take your videography to the next level and really be able to market yourself as a creative professional in this industry. And if you can do it on a budget, that's even a win-win too. Um, and for me, it's just been something that's really awesome. It's really great having this tool just to be able to market myself as a creative professional in this industry and just something that not a lot of people have. And so a lot of people come to me asking for this particular tool. And being able to have this tool on a budget, like I said, is something that's just been really, really beneficial to me. So as promised, you're probably wondering what some of the footage looks like that we shot on campus and all this other kind of stuff. So we created a highlight reel of what all the cool shots look like that you will be looking at now. Yeah. 